Yay for spinny runes. Yep. If, I'm sure you can piece it together just by looking at it, but we have to cool off that eye switch by shooting it with fire. And we're not allowed to get fire arrows. We couldn't even right now anyway. So we have to do this. Oh, I actually hit that on the first try. I wasn't expecting to. And the arrow wasn't even close to the eye switch, but it still did that to it, so that's cool. Well, this has been a very unfun gimmick. Hope, sure do hope that this does not ever recur in any other Zelda games after this. Nope. Nuh-uh. I, I sure would be upset if this ever came back in any way. Having to shoot a fire, uh, shoot an arrow through a torch. That would just be so annoying. Come on, there you go. That's why bubbles are the most annoying, is because when you try to hit them and you miss, they just keep flying around, so you miss constantly. Or maybe that's just me. So this room is interesting, as you can tell by the holes, um, if you go so far and only stay in a certain spot. And real quick, this is the door, I believe... Yes. Okay. So this is where Navi was hinting at earlier. I think you can get up there with the Scarecrow song and skip half a level and get here. Why you would do this, I don't know, because you need to get through the rest of the stuff, obviously. The ceiling is falling! And I think if you... Oh, man. Yeah, there are Sculptulas dangling from the ceiling that will... Raz your stash. Oh, come on. Apparently you can't be in it, and... Okay, I got one of them. Apparently you can't be in this overhead view, you could say, and aim arrows. I don't think... No. It, I could try aiming by Z-targeting, but... Ah, screw it. That'd be weird. Can I hit... And, of course, the just go around him is the best way to do it. Anyway. Gee, what could be on the ceiling? Oh my gosh, giant blocks! And there's the Poe sister. I learned something interesting. I said about, uh, Joel, I think was the red one's name, and the blue one, I don't remember her name. Uh, real quick, you have to put these together to form the image. It's not hard, and this piece in the middle is completely useless, so I'm just gonna pull it out real quick. Anyway, the Poe sisters are all named after the sisters in the book Little Women. I never knew this because I never read Little Women. Though I remember it's a, it's a bigger book, and I remember in elementary school they had the library, they had that book in there, and in our school, they had us able to read books and check out that we'd actually read them and do, like, quizzes on them and stuff to get points, and it ended up leading to something. It was a, a method of Amy, yeah. It was a method of encouraging students to read and everything. Uh, Little Women was one of those books, and it's this huge freaking book. And, like, most of the books that you would read in elementary school are like were like four or five points when you read them. The real big ones for like fourth graders or whatever were like ten points. Little Women was worth 36 points. If only I could remember what I would ever have ever used those points for, I would say it would have been somewhat relevant to read that book. But, of course, as like a fourth grader, I never would have remembered it. So that fight was as unremarkable as the rest of them. But of course it was pivotal. <sighs> Scratch was always getting in the way. Yeah, this is the ledge we couldn't access before. And there sure is the last Poe right there in the middle. Can I shoot her? I mean, she's right there. I guess not. Very odd how she was just kind of half in the floor, half not. Yeah, this is her gimmick. And she gets mini boss music for some reason. Meg, yes. 
get to an open area here, you'll notice when you have a nice view of all four of them. There. That's how you distinguish. The one that spins is the real one. Otherwise, you shoot them all and you never really find out who the real one is. I don't remember if when you shoot the all three of them that are fake, if she just disappears or if it hurt, damages you or what. And I don't care to find out right now, so we will just keep on doing this. And she goes down in five hits, just like the rest. And the elevator's brought back up. All that! Going through all the rooms and all that shit just for the elevator. And a very annoying last part of the castle. It's a big circle, maze-ish kind of room that you spin around. Like that. And you go in and find the different enemies. And in here is a... Where, yeah, Spultula. That I cannot get, so I don't care. And this gives me... Arrows. It may seem useless by right now, but trust me when I say we will need them. Now, I don't know the an exact, uh, what's it called, strategy for this room. What I do generally is just push it around the same direction, and generally that leads to some form of success. Um, how long this will take, I don't exactly remember. I think there are a couple of switches I have to step on. Yeah, here's one of them. Yeah, it helps to have the map so where you can tell, oh, I need to go to, like, the bottom side here. Um, it's right there, so if I push this one this direction, I can get to it. I think? Eh, still needs another switch to be stepped on. Well, that one does too, okay. So we're just going to keep going in the same direction. Direction. Isn't that how they say it in Australia? I don't even remember. Uh, this one has... Oh, is this... Yeah, it still has... This is the... Uh, the room with the sculpture. Uh, I hate to feel like I'm going in circles, but I feel like I am. <sighs> uh, this is an annoying part. Can I... Oh, okay. There's the other one. Yeah, pretty sure that's the one I needed to hit. And I think I can push this back this way. I'm going to do it one more time, and I think now that one will lead to the boss room, which should be unopened. Um, I thought that was going to be open. What the hell? Oh, it opened this one. Okay. I was about to get kind of raging right there. Now it's open. Okay. Let's just enjoy the chanting music before we go in, shall we? Okay, enough of that. Now, the first boss as an adult Link is actually one of the more interesting ones. It's a bunch of paintings. That all look the same. Well, the boss clearly isn't here, so we can just leave now, right? I'm just gonna... Oh my god, I did not see this coming. And when I first played this, I definitely did not see this coming. But, well, we're at the end of the game already. Sure is Ganondorf. Or is it? Yep, Phantom Ganon. He, he sure is a phantom. 
He has a laugh and a voice in general that is slightly lower than the original Ganon. And yes, save! So the idea here is to shoot the real Ganon before it gets out of the painting. If you wait too long, he'll, he'll fly up overhead and throw down some electric current at you. There are two, at least, and one of them is a fake one. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, that's what happens. Thankfully, I dodged that. Uh, sometimes when I, I, I'm accidentally pointing at the fake one, and then I whip around and actually hit the real one, it's it looks pretty badass. Maybe I can do it this time. Nope, he's right there. Okay. It's a very neat idea, I must say, but it gets a little challenging. And I'll never get to a show up. And that was the third time I hit him, and now... Phantom Ganon, yeah. And she doesn't tell you... Oh, okay, yeah, she does. Uh, answer is a magic attack on your own, yeah. Uh, this is where you start playing... And I did not draw my sword nearly fast enough. Okay. This is where you start effectively playing tennis with him, because... Link, what the hell? Hit it back! Okay. There we go. All I need to do is keep doing this. And for the first couple times, I think it kind of just... Okay, never mind. I was going to say, for the first couple times, it ain't, uh, hits it back haphazardly, but it evidently didn't. Uh, maybe it does. I, I, I don't really know. I just hit it until he starts hitting back. It, it'll happen eventually. So, we might be here a while. We might not. We'll see. I already got one good hit on him. Alright, now he starts hitting it back. And... Link! Ugh. That is why I saved right before the fight started. Now, I should be able to get back here with relatively no problem. And it should be fairly quickly, so I'll just not edit this part out. I hope... Um... It's always disorienting to see just the three hearts and everything like that, because it's like, well, did I, like, actually get back in time? I guess we'll just find out. Pretty sure I did. Let's get back through all this stuff. Come on. I'm not gonna waste arrows. I need to save them for the Phantom! Blessedly, the room is the same. The elevator's still here. I hope I don't have to hit all the goddamn switches again. Oh, neat, I don't even have to move it. Excellent. Okay. So now we can head back into this and do take number two. Hopefully I can do it in just this ta two takes. That was already like the fifth time I've been owned. Alright, come on. Show me your teeth. He already starts coming out of the paintings, so you need to be ready. Oh, come on! Oh. Amazingly, it still hit him. How about that? I was afraid it was going to be like, No, you were too late! Let's see... Where are you? Where are you? Okay. It's always nice when they're right next to each other. I'm sorry if I'm not talking much. I really like the boss music. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Badass! <laughs> Whip around and let it go. That's always the neat way to do it. Alright, Link, let's be quick on the draw this time. And let's try to aim. Hey! Yeah, it did it right away that time. Keep chopping. Come on. Link, where were you hitting that? That was a foul ball all the way out into right field. What are you doing? There we go. This gimmick that they have of constantly hitting back and forth is an interesting one. The only other time I remember them doing it was in um, Wind Waker. I haven't played, uh, what's it called yet, the uh, Skyward Sword, so I don't know if it's in there or not, but it's getting... Ugh. It was getting a little uncomfortably close, so I tried swinging earlier. 
ended up being too early. But, we can still do this. There we go. Okay. Oh, come on! How many more hits do you take, buddy? Uh, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? What is this? Okay, I've never seen that attack before. And, yeah, just to show, you can't hit him with arrows. To stun him or anything. What is that attack? I was wondering if you could hit him while he's doing that attack with arrows. I guess not, though. Okay, come on. Hopefully he doesn't have any more... Ugh. Hopefully he doesn't have as many hits left as I do. I only have one! <laughs> I don't want to have to do a third take. Link, please! If I do, I'll just edit to where I'm killing him, because I don't have to show all that crap again. And... oh, come on. Okay, there he goes. Man, that would have been the final blow, too, if that jump attack had landed. Link, where's the dramatic tension? That wouldn't really be dramatic tension, would it? So yeah, Ganondorf was present in that battle, except it was clearly Phantom Ganon. That was not easy, pal. I don't know what you're thinking. Banish it to the gap between dimensions, huh? I wonder where that is. Is that where Dodoria and Nappa are? Uh, another question for another day, I suppose.